All right, we're back with another video. Um, today, is, <laughs> today is not the 22nd, but I thought uh, I'm doing a video after every 500 trades that I finished on my journals. So uh, yesterday, basically on the 1st of December, I finished my last journal that I started on the 17th of uh, November. So um, roughly 13 days for one journal, which is which is okay, which is not not the best that I did in the past, but 13 days is is quite okay. So um, what we're gonna do now is as as usual, like go to go through my equity curves see if there's an improvement over time and then uh, touch on my re most recent equity curve um, uh, the, the one that out of my last journal basically and um, yeah because I, I think these these videos might be a little bit better because I <laughs> there's so much stuff I'm changing up throughout these 500 trades so um, at the point of the next 20 second of every of any month basically my whole strategy has changed <laughs> because I'm getting so many inspirations what I can change within my system to make it better that uh, as soon as I get to the next 20 second of any month my system has changed like completely <laughs> and um, yeah so the target is that basically this at, at some point my system doesn't change anymore and it's just me getting getting it over and over and over again so that I can get the experience from it but yeah for now a lot of things get refined and um, I'm changing things up to especially with management I think management is, is such a such a big part of, of a trading system and um, yeah so that's why I'm doing doing the video for my future self <laughs> that you understand future matters <laughs> Um, yeah, you. I'm doing this more often just because uh, it makes more sense because I'm changing more things. So yeah, we're gonna jump right into the equity curves. Um, I think in the last video I showed some, so we're gonna just flick quickly through them. Um, this is first ICI back test um, with 500, no, what, 177, 177 trades, and then. You see it's in the in the quite in the right order. So one, two, three, four, five, six is now, so six is empty. Um yeah, and you should see slight improvement. Um I will call out the RR or I will call out the dollar amount so that you see <coughs> how much it has improved from the last journal. So here around 144, 144,000 um, to the next journal to 550,000. The starting size is, by the way, um, always 50,000. So we started at 50,000 and after, in this case, 500 trades, we ended up at 550,000. Then from 550 to 923, then the journal that I didn't finish was the amount of 100 trades to 160 and the journal <laughs> the journal that I did yet uh, yeah basically finished yesterday um, it was completely local <laughs> I, don't, I haven't <clears throat> I haven't seen something like this in my journal ever and I'm quite quite happy that it turned out that way and because we <laughs> we reached uh, just three million on the dot after 500 trades which is crazy which is absolutely crazy you see at the beginning <laughs> for 400 trades uh, after 400 trades I was at 767,000 so uh, Einstein was was right when, when he said that human beings do not understand um, exponential growth um, this is this is crazy <laughs> I, I was I was just thinking okay when we hear at 400 maybe maybe we're gonna reach 1.5 million um, after 500 trades, um, ooh, 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 ooh. nope, <laughs> three million. Of course, this doesn't mean anything. This is testing. It's just um, the question if I can pull up this pull pull off this uh, in the live markets, and I think there goes a lot more depth into it. So um, this 
can I, I I mean I've never tested, but I think this can be like mirrored ex exactly onto life. Um, I think this is backtesting is quite different because you ha you have the dynamic of the setup um, that you see in backtesting and on live it's just all slow and slow and you have to imagine the dynamic of the setup um, and how it would look like in backtesting so yeah as I said I made lots of refinements in this uh, within this equity curve um, at the beginning I traded uh, I think I traded my old management system with 50% um, at 10, 10 minute 10 MA close below and 50% um, at 10 R. Um, then, then I think at around 200 I um, added the S the S and D type zones. Um, then around here I think I added some uh, other in, in another management system which basically involves <clears throat> Momentum, momentum uh, management. So you, you will see. I implemented something from that into my management system that I want to test now for 500 trades. But yeah, um, around here I I added something um, different management-wise, and um, that's what I basically want to test now in the sixth journal, sixth third journal, which is empty. So. You see here, no data in here, and uh, that's what we look to fill now <laughs> with data. So yeah, move that to the side, um, and we're going to look what we what we're going to test today. Um, I made made a made a list back testing here, and we have four numbers: one, two, three, four, and um, yeah, a random number generator is going to decide um, what pair we're going to. Trade first, and then yeah, we're just gonna go into it, and probably don't get don't get a lot of trades or don't get a lot of wins because out of experience, I know what the beginning data of, of any pair looks like, and usually it's not that good. But um, it's also good that um, from a future self that I see myself trading context that isn't isn't perfect. And um, how I handle not not perfect context, you know. So we're gonna just because it's just do it again. Oh, <laughs> it was four times. Okay, we we're gonna refresh, and now we're gonna just press one, three. Okay, we go three with three, chfjpy. So um, yeah, we we back to CHFJBY. Um, <laughs> probably a little bit laggy now because my my MacBook is I don't know. I don't I don't know how it's alive. How it's still alive. <laughs> three or four years of uh, three years of trading and <laughs> two years of trading, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It's 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 doing a good job. <laughs> So we're gonna delete. Oh my god! We're gonna delete everything in here. Um, go back to 2021, and I believe we can go back to. Let's see. I think we can go back to the two. Let's be let's be safe with the 16th of June. I think that should be possible in the five minute. So yes, yeah, sir. So we're gonna. Just jump in monthly. <clears throat> yeah, I mean monthly. What do what you want to say? It's the accumulation. One two up. Um, oh, one two up. Reaccumulating below any two. Um, trading up uh, with some two point mitigations in here above the fifty and the twenty, which is new, which I added because um, Anton, mentor expert mentor. Um, he gave me great perspective on, on the 20 and 50 MA on the high time frame and I was willing to use it always like you, you see me I'm, I'm using it always now so monthly is, is, is of course bullish uh, we damn 
we look to get onto this. So this is the monthly target. And obviously onto that target where we don't have to paste two, two lines there. But the weekly looks probably quite the same in accumulation. Accumulation down here. Um, into reaccumulation into one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Three, <laughs> let's see. <here. laughs> into three up. Um, yep, yeah, beautiful. Now, correction probably might be reaccumulation on a daily. Oh, it is. I played the data too fast. No, no, I didn't play too fast, but yeah, now we know how the next week's gonna look. <laughs> um, yeah, just because I, I knew what's coming, I just press the button here. And as I said, this right here is on the daily reaccumulation. And we have a reaccumulation on the daily. So reaccumulation on daily means um, we have lots of free money zone appear. Um, everybody's trying to short it because they say oh, it's broken down. So we know that we want to go up. And we, we now look for S&D zones, S&D type zones that make sense to take price higher. And um, therefore I look for a reclaim of the 50. Not particularly, but in this case will make sense a reclaim of the 50. And 20 comes down, the 20 is the gray. 20 comes down, um, both go sideways, and then we want to see push above um, the 20 with a close above the previous bearish candles high, which would clarify basically a zone, bullish zone for me. So the 10 comes down, actually in this case, if now we get now S&D validation across here. No, we're just gonna skip. So on these, <laughs> you know, this, this is, yeah, this is played fast, so these are well, 14 days I didn't trade because I have just simple rule of waiting for, my, for, for the thing I'm looking for. Um, you can argue now, I would wait for almost bearish candle and if we close now above here or here, so nothing, absolutely nothing, yeah, I mean, 20 and 50 go sideways and at that point with reclaim of 20 and 10 I think that's a beautiful daily zone and um, yeah we can expect price to to come up here daily target uh, one only jump on the, onto the one only one only in redistribution but we know that this I mean, high time frame is king, and this is on the daily the reaccumulation. So um, we know why. Oh no, yeah, this is the reaccumulation. <laughs> this this is probably the know, four hourly accumulation. Something like this. But you know, let's. I'm interested. Let's see. Okay, now we big range. So. Doesn't doesn't even matter. <laughs> That's all right. Um, yeah, we. I think now just I just want to wait for for bullish model to come into into price here. We get redistribution if we get the MB up now. Then we would be in reaccumulation or accumulation actually. Yeah, just yeah because we in, we invalidated the redistribution. And um, this is also one two, one down, one up. Is reaccumulation, but we were in bearish context before, so it makes sense that we now in accumulation. And actually, at the point of breaking this, this was a beautiful S and D zone. I wouldn't trade here because we, this can it can always be like that we, from this week, you know, that we want to distribute further down. Um, so I'm not, I would not trade this, but since it broke to the upside and we have a bullish model now, met with the daily bias that we established, that we were reaccumulating and want to go higher um, out of the S&D zone that we had. What was the S&D zone? Oh, it was a big one. <laughs> All right. 
uh, yeah, it actually makes sense for me to jump on a five minute, look for um, and look for trades here, right? So yeah, let's see if we get something on here. Um, <clears throat> so we had a session, wait for 1 a.m. One AM for oh, fifteen minutes. <laughs> the time flies. Yeah, no. but yeah. So we're getting recumulation. Um, wait for good setup now. Nothing here. Absolutely nothing. We get recumulate again. Um, if we come up now and go sideways. And this is something I refined too, so I'm testing it right now. Um, but yeah, I had lots of times price broke below the MA and then went up crazy. So um, I'm trying to test if this is a valid setup too, just because it went down, stayed, stayed closed below, and um, now we're getting kind of. I did not take this trade, but uh, <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> you can make it up. Um, yeah, so this is something I will test, um, just because um, this setup worked. I'm going to <clears throat> I'm going to just put this into my uh, yeah. Put this into my uh, what is it gallery, just picture gallery of setups, um, but maybe fair zone too. So yeah, we don't even have to do we. And that's a nice setup at all. <laughs> uh, one more. No, nah, something is, is not right here, so we don't take it. If this comes up now, yeah. So this is actually something I will take, just because um, you have the highs now, you have the highs here, goes sideways, now comes above with quite quite a lot of strength. Uh, no, not anymore. So it seems like this wasn't no. All the excitement for nothing. <laughs> so we can actually delete that. So yeah, no picture for my gallery, but this one will be. This one will definitely be, be a picture. If we get tapped. So let's see, 4.9, best chance. No, nope. no picture here. Um, no, out of session. <coughs> One AM. Uh, one two and come below. I want to. I definitely want to get a win, just because I want to show. Uh, I want to show my future self the um, the management I use now, and um, yeah, let's see if we can get something out of here. If this comes down onto the main. Now comes up, no. Nope. So reaccumulation, nothing. Yeah, comes down on the May. Ah, it's old session. She. So we back in session now with distribution. If we come back up again, it would be accumulation. And after doubling the up, I consider this buy sub through the high of MV1 would make sense as well. No. So now at point of um, a validated bearish model on the 
my entry time frame of five minutes, I just jump on the one only. If the Joanna only does the, uh, does the same, basically validating the bearish model on the one only, I would jump on a daily and look for my SD zones, right? Uh, look for my SD zones there. So we come below, um, looks like re accumulation, <clears throat> and I would just look for getting near to the maze, something like that. If we go sideways now, yeah. <laughs> Oh, what the fun. So it will be validated, uh, validated bearish model. So we're just gonna look at the at the daily. The daily looks incredibly beautiful. So this is this is this is, <laughs> this is amazing. So if we get a close buff here on the daily, uh, we'll make we'll make such a beautiful context. So we go more sideways. We wait for close above this candle. Close above that candle, close above that candle. And no, this is not a close. This is still not a close. Close above here. We just need a close above a bearish close above a bearish candle with right context. Re Reaccumulate further. <clears throat> so now bearish candle. Close above here. Close above here. Close above here. Yes, sir. And this is a sign that money comes in. We beautifully um, tap the 10 and 20 going above the 50 and what you can expect now is basically price to clear this trendline liquidity and basically go and uh, take this free money out here to then, to then go above the daily target and, and beyond. <clears throat> At point of validation of the S&D type, we jump on the one only see um, one, two, three, um, one, two, three, four down, one, two up. So yeah, at point of uh, at this point, I will just wait for a clear break onto the fifty, maybe. Or yeah, we go on a fifty now. There's a fifty. Break above with bearish SD zone and uh, um, demand zone and break above would we'll make this such a nice, such a nice context for longs. No. Oh yeah, this is this is beautiful. <coughs> so. We in redistribution means a bearish model, but I still look for longs. Why? Um, because I know the daily is bullish, and uh, we I know what price is going to do next, or I hope to know <laughs> um, that we're going to just go here because daily is reaccumulation. We want to definitely want to go above here and actually just above here to validate the whole model. Um, so yeah. What I'm going to do here is look for longs now, since I want to be in within. I want to be in the move before the move starts, right? So we jump on a five minute, five minute um, had reaccumulation up, down into distribution probably. Mm, yeah, so one two three down into distribution, into one of this accumulation, um, could be absorption, it is absorption, so we're still going to look for longs now, although it's sad, in distribution, back in accumulation now, if we get a break below the MA, we need to break below the MA, this is, yeah, and come back up, and go sideways now, This is some. This is setup. That's a setup. You see, break up, break down. Beautiful. Is this within the session? Yeah, it is. Trade here, four eight. Yep, and go. That's a beautiful setup too. Mm, probably a little bit too high of the stop loss. 
So um, I'm just gonna mark the point where I took my first trade, just because I I know then what <laughs> where to look, where to, where to journal my trades basically, and this was just a minus one. Yeah, we're gonna keep going. Collapse this to that to the left, and um, basically start watching again. Recommendation is a little bit ugly now, which is a little bit back and forth. Um, we come back to the 50, and if we like, if we get another S and D validation, I'm more than happy to take this up. Um, Actually, that looks fine. Beautiful. Just like that. Go on the five. Let's look back and forth. Wait for clear bullish model. We have it. Recumulation would be nice. Or flush. Flush, we get the flush. Come above, and that's a nice setup. Um, two. The MA touches does not touch, but if we get in a strong candle now, um, A is going to touch up and uh, uh, yeah, catch up, and uh, yeah, just like that, we had zero two, which means we put two two point five, which lines up perfectly with the low of the candle before breakout. So I'm going to go with it. I'm going to take this minus one, minus one. And we're gonna keep going, right? Um, perfect. Another setup. If this is the last two, I'm not gonna trade in the same area again. Three point two. Two point three. It says we put on two point five, just because two point five is the minimum. Minimum I will accept out of stop loss. Next candle. One last chance, nope. That's actually a nice setup. Um, because you have to imagine how it would look on live. The candle comes in, comes below, and then comes up and closes here. So at the point of coming up, I would be tapping right there with a stop of 2.7. Which is below the candle of before, and I'm gonna watch that. Take this minus one, and uh, gonna keep going. Minus one. So two losses here. I just skip through. Um, look what's happening here. So now I'll be happy to watch for longs again, and that's the setup. Um, above the MA, serve it. This is not a setup, but if this comes below, it comes back up. And the next candle comes from here and validates through here, and that's a setup. Yep. So, you always have to imagine how setups look on live so that you can basically do the thing. That you want to do, but now 5.7. Nope, I'm not taking this because stop is absolutely too high. So, um, price moves. And uh, yeah, I mean, this would have been phenomenal, phenomenal trade. You see, would be up now uh, 10, but uh, this stop loss. Is not is not uh, actually it was fine <laughs> yeah but if this if this trade would have been a loss I would have not looked again so <laughs> I'm not going to take this just because I know what's what's happened there. Um, so yeah, sadly we're gonna miss we're going to miss that. Um, gonna wait for accumulation now. Accumulation here. And 
had a had a flush. It is actually okay. So if we get another trade here, three point two. Three point two. But what's with the stop sizes though? Let me see. Yeah, we project basically nothing. So we're gonna come down to the A, hopefully. Yeah, go sideways. Yeah, beautiful. That's a better setup. 2.8, and that's a better stop. Putting it just on, on three, I think. Just to, to get the low of the body and something of the MA, so 3.1. Three. Yeah, that's did not tap, so we're gonna adjust it just to the low of that candle, 3.3. .3. Beautiful. Um, we can go to 3 now, just because we are at the candle. Bro. Still good. Yep, we tapped in. And uh, see if we get managed out of this. Oh, no, it's just nothing. Okay, beautiful. So um, what I would do is draw the momentum. So it will be something like this, or for now this. And I would look what break of momentum would look, would look like. <clears throat> I think break of momentum will be here. And if this is above 2R, which in this case is not at all, I will take my first partial there. So this is not at all in, in, the, in the area of, of a momentum break, uh, of, of a, a valid partial for me. So I'm just gonna let this do its thing. And uh, we'll keep looking. What would look a uh, break of momentum? I think break of momentum around here. Is this above 2R? It is. So first partial 33.33%, so one third of 100% of if price touches this this line. And uh, we're gonna keep looking now. If price is gonna go completely stupid, I'm gonna manage below the candles, but this is just normal price movement for me. And I'm still gonna do with the momentum, break of momentum. I think around here. So first partial gonna be here, a little bit below. Just like that. Maybe we get some stupid candles in. Um no, we don't. Break of momentum. From here, break of momentum. Around here. So first partial there. Oh, I forgot what my other partials are. So 33%, 33.33% um the momentum break. <clears throat> then the next, uh, the next third, so the second third, so another 33.33% on the TH is killing me. Um, we're going to take, um, as I did in the last video, and the 10 minute 10 MA break, but this is only valid if we trade it. Uh, maybe we have this scenario in a minute. Um, yeah, just wait. Oh, and the third partial is sitting at 15 RR, uh, 15 RR, 33%. So, yeah, I mean, this, this looks very, very, very nice. It looks like we're gonna roll over, so break up my zone here. Beautiful. This didn't tap me out yet. And, yeah. and if it wants to go. Yeah, that's that's nice if you if you kind of understand momentum of price, you can uh, just I don't know, <laughs> I mean this 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 doesn't happen every time. <clears throat> it's just not. But uh, it's it's kind of funny that it happens now. 
So, <laughs> yeah. We're gonna keep uh, going. 34, bro. What the fuck? Break of momentum here on here. I mean, this, <laughs> this, you know, you can imagine what kind of trade this this becomes. If we can get some stupid candles in. <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. I mean, this this is still not stupid. I would say this is still normal price movement. Of course, it's extremely overextended. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, so this kind of becomes stupid now. So, <laughs> Jesus, I think I never had. I gotta be honest, I think rarely I have such good trades. Oh, it's such a good trade. Bro, I'm taking first posture at 10. Don't I? 11 now, what the f... Come on, take me on. Cannot imagine. You cannot make it up. So this is, this is stupid now. So first partial here. A little bit below to uh, low for absorption, just like that, and a little bit higher uh, on here. Pretty cool, beautiful, and maybe <laughs> you're <laughs> gonna keep going, <laughs> bro. <laughs> All right, and then we move to the fifty percent of that. And let me see if that is quite the fifty percent because fifty percent. Uh, they're on average like the most orders so if we come below and I want to get to the 50 that's a nice place we're going to manage to here just 50 of that around there I think a little bit below yeah. <clears throat> this is insane this is absolutely insane bro holy fuck Thank you. Jesus Christ, this was my first partial. Of course, we, we, we above the 50. So in this case, 50 was my first partial. Uh, yeah, 50 my first partial. Jesus Christ, bro. No, you can make it up. You can. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, normally it's my third partial. This is my first. And um, since this is up so much, the rule doesn't apply to that because normally um, this candle tapped me out, the white candle now. I would wait for a body close above here, a body close above here to validate the rule for my 10 minute tenma break because mostly a break of momentum is met with a 10 minute tenma close below the may and then i take two partials in one area which is not very you know and if this trades above it validates okay we long and if then if if it then comes below then it's more likely to to take you completely out and that's where i take my partial so <clears throat> Yeah, we would normally wait for this, but this is a 22 hour. <laughs> just gonna take him a 10 minute, a 10 minute tenemay close if uh, if it happens here now. So tenemay. I'm speechless. Bro, this 23.47R. <laughs> this, this trade is gonna be at 17, 18RR raw? Secured. 18R. <laughs> okay, we're gonna move on here. Uh, Jesus. Yeah, the fun time, fun time journaling this. Um, I don't know if. Yeah, you can you can you can calculate calculate yourself if uh, you want to calculate this. Just put fifteen times thirty three percent, twenty one times thirty three percent, and twenty three four seven times thirty three percent. 
add them all up and then you have the raw R for this trade. Um, yeah, <laughs> going to keep going, man. <laughs> uh, all right, we 40 minutes. Um, yeah, I want to have one more trade where I, where I have the rule. <clears throat> oh, Jesus, this is my trade. I don't know what's happening here, man. I really don't know. Um, hello? Yeah, beautiful. So we come above, have a flush down, plus three accumulation, which is okay for me, I think. It's, damn, my mouse is lagging. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, we come above, and this is not a valid setup, but oh, it actually wasn't a trade. Yeah, okay, no, we good, we good, we good. Normally, like if this wick wasn't up there or down here, this would have been a beautiful trade. But now it's just I don't know, a little bit something's off. Uh, it's not not quite right, but yeah. I mean, it, <laughs> you can imagine what that would be. Um, <clears throat> honestly, like one only must be quite overextended, <laughs> quite bro. This is crazy. So we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna wait for for some some bigger flush. I don't know. It's 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 needed at the moment. So yeah, that's that's very good. And at that point, you can jump on one only. <clears throat> wait for S&D validation and uh, you get your S&D validation here I mean this this is still overextended but we in trending environment and it's more likely to that it just keep going and I'd rather be I'd rather be one time on the wrong side than trying to you know, then trying something different. I, it will tell me when I'm on the wrong side because then my trades will be <coughs> my trade will be will be a loss. Uh, yeah, so mitigate the the one only S and D, absorb it more likely. No, so if we come back down to the fifty, that would be quite nice. Yeah, we're gonna go on the 50. There's the 50, and now SD type validation and SD validation come up here to here. Yeah, beautiful. Bearish candle now. Bearish candle. Bearish candle. <laughs> Bearish candle. Okay, at this point I I know what's happening in price and we just gonna go higher. And oh I'm done. It was validation, <laughs> validation. So this updated to here, updated to here, updated to here, and then this is the S and D zone. So we were valid to trade from here. And uh, let's see, it's yeah accumulation one two up. Wait for flush. Oh, something yeah. Hmm. Actually, nah, we want to see flush reaccumulation, something like this. <laughs> it was, was a good setup. So this is fine for me too, at this point, you know. Yeah. Or, or, nah, we, we need to come along. We need to come along. Uh, yeah, that's the reaccumulation that we spoke about. And uh, out of session, so we wait for next day. A beautiful reaccumulation. And actually, just stopped here because that's beautiful setup. 
two, three. So get tabbed, put 2.5 in because that's the minimum we want to do. And um, get a manage out of this, get a manage out of this. So I step. Um, I mean, probably not to a R. So no, just gonna keep keep it going. If this comes out like where we are, or otherwise, three point three six. So yeah, at this point, uh, we probably can set our first partial. So loss of momentum will be around here. So three point three six. Please don't give me another trade like this. <laughs> Jesus. So yeah, loss of momentum around here. Already a 5.64. Normally I have three or four or R when I get my first partial. So this is isn't <laughs> this is, this isn't normal. This isn't normal. Um, I think we're gonna just. Hopefully, I get the the example with the MA management in this in this case, just because then I can basically then I showed every 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 change I had within my system, and then I can basically. You know. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. So we get tapped. So this is our first partial. Trade above here. You know, I I, I said it a few minutes ago. Trade above here. No, no. So the ten minute maybe maybe close below the ten MA, but this I don't I don't care because this is momentum break and on a lower time frame this is reaccumulation. And we wait for a break above here, which would basically validate the reaccumulation. And if we get above here, just like that, we can jump on a 10 minute. Reaccumulate on a lower time frame, and the 10 minute goes, you know? And it's just as easy as that. Now we wait for a 10 minute break below the MA for our second partial. That's the, that's the break second partial up here and we probably had 15 already so our third partial sits here and that's it that's how I how I look at it and okay in this case we would have been would have been lucky because it didn't close below perfect example would now be if that can close below the MA because then you see the rule working working and um, it's just yeah easy then <laughs> because this a momentum break within a trending environment is always a reset is always reaccumulation more likely a reaccumulation um, to to get higher prices later so <clears throat> it is not not a sign for me to take to take 65% off, 66% off. It's not a sign for me. Um, it's it's more like a bullish sign. Of course, if this doesn't ha does happen more more down here, then it's a more bearish sign because then it's more likely that trend wasn't real and no the trend wasn't real, but um, it's more likely that you know momentum breaks and we just gonna go sideways for, for a little bit and then tap me out. But this is is definitely a reaccumulation of low time frame. I would show you the low time frame, but I think the data doesn't allow me to. So yeah. I mean it is obviously reaccumulation. But yeah that that was basically my my rule which I I don't know I I don't know how I came up with it but it's just I wanted to, to trade above here, and um, we traded above here, validated the 10 minute 10 MA, 
uh, passion for me. And uh, at that point, you know, you get a good move and manage it accordingly. Get your second and third partial, and you're out basically. And this, I mean, this again would be around 12 to 13 RR on that trade, um, which is completely insane. So, yeah, we're gonna stop it here. Um, I hope that you have a nice viewpoint on my strategy that I use right now. and. Uh, yeah, future self of me understands what I'm doing. <laughs> hopefully, what well, sometimes it, it it isn't it isn't it isn't even bad when your future self doesn't <laughs> understand what you're doing right now because then it means you, you progress and you you learned. So hopefully you do not understand what I'm doing. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that will be that will be quite that will be not good because then it'll mean that. I do shit right now. So hopefully you understand what I'm doing. And um, yeah, uh, so we're gonna, I, I, yeah, we're gonna see each other again when I finish the next 500 trades. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep going, man. Keep going. Um, yeah, and for all those who are not my future self and watching this video, um, I don't know if someone watched up until here, but uh, yeah, appreciate it. Thank you, and uh, yeah, see you in the next video, man. <laughs> bye bye.